So here's this pure positive energy from whence you have come. This pure energy that is love, that is knowing, that is stability and confidence, that is pure positive energy in that no resistance that you could discern from your physical environment. In other words, it's a purity. It is a pure, non-diluted, non-contrasted, not slowed down in any way. Therefore, powerful vibration. This is the energy that creates worlds. And that's who that part of you is. So that larger part of you now contemplate the law of attraction responding to that larger part of you. Oh, feel for just a moment. Try to contemplate what that means in terms of your expansion, in terms of your blessedness, in terms of your power to become. So here's this law of attraction responding to this non-physical energy of you calling all cooperative components to your desires not to the trouble that caused you to want it only to the desires so what's being summoned on your behalf to that larger part of you is all that you are asking for the freedom and the clarity and the abundance and the wellness everything that you are asking for is being summoned on your behalf to that larger non-physical part of you all cooperative components gathered sometimes you catch a glimpse of it and you stand in amazement at the perfection and the bigness and the wholeness of what's happening on your behalf the question that this forum wants to ask of you and answer to the degree that you can let it in how cooperative are you in your component -ness? are you a cooperative component or do you stand as a vibrational holdout defending where you stand in your defiance of well-being of course I want more money if I could only get more money everyone wants more money don't be stupid about that of course everyone wants more money I want more money but where is the money <laughs> money just does not come to me money has not been coming to me there is no money and we say that's the way you hold yourself in vibrational defiance of the money that's being called the cooperative components are being gathered are you one not right then it's all right we like your eagerness of life oh he's not telling you that he's just saying be respectful of those around you well you know what you can say anything you want here in this room and he can too so if he tells you to be quiet he can do that too Isn't it nice that we are all here together? In this room, no one will throw you out. There will just be a lot of people that want to. <laughs> but they will be in resistance of their own well being. And you will be the teacher that helps them to know that you get to do what you want to do, and they get to feel about you the way they want to feel about you. But can you imagine the chaos if everyone did that? We're glad it's only you here today. <laughs> and now we would like to tell you to shut up. <laughs> it's all right. It's all all right. So as we're playing together here today it's our desire that we can help you to feel the pure essence of your well-being we want you to find that feeling place that allows into your experience what you want Esther was it was a wonderful experience for her she was standing with a group of a lot of people to board an airplane in Barcelona the other day and she had a first class ticket and was standing in that queue ready to get on and the gate agent was calling for anyone who needed extra time to board and so quite a trail of people were doing that and so on they were going and on they were going and the boarding had been delayed and so Everyone had been standing in the area, hundreds of people. It was a big aircraft for quite a while. And as this stream of people were boarding, there was a woman standing a few people behind Esther, and she was 
annoyed at all of the people who were getting on the airplane ahead of her even though she'd paid a lot for her first class ticket and her priority boarding she was like you in that she was <laughs> uttering it out loud she felt the injustice of it and she was saying out loud really loud <laughs> like you <laughs> she was saying why are they getting on early i don't see a wheelchair i don't see a crutch i don't see a cane i'm 75 years old she said and i'm not boarding early why is she boarding early well what's wrong with that one <laughs> and esther didn't know if there was anyone with her but if they were with her they weren't letting it be known <laughs> so she's spewing her discontent it was a hurricane of discontent and then as they're walking down the jetway, she's walking behind Esther, a few people, and she's still spewing her discontent. She's looking for someone to agree with her, and no one would even look in her direction. <laughs> Esther, who often will support anyone in anything, kept moving further and further away from her because she did not want to be associated with her. And when they got on the aircraft, she was still telling anyone who would listen, which was no one. Even the flight attendants who she thought were paid to listen to her were not really listening to her. In other words, she was having a hard time. And Esther sat in her seat and thought, this is the best example I've ever seen of what Abraham is talking about, of when we are spewing this hurricane of protest and discontent, how it affects those around us in a very visual way but this is the way the entire universe works because when you want something but are protesting the absence of it instead of getting what you want you get more of the absence of what you want it was such a good demonstration of how it all works and then Esther thought to herself I've thought some of those same thoughts <laughs> sometimes I wonder why are you getting on early <laughs> I'm just not as honest as she is. <laughs> I'm just more concerned about what other people think about me, which is not necessarily a good thing, is it? Uh-oh, we stirred you up, didn't we? <laughs> so, whether you're saying it out loud or whether you're just thinking it, you're emitting a vibration about it. And the vibration of protest that you emit is in the way of you letting in the very thing that you've asked for. And that's why the protest feels like negative emotion. Because when you feel negative emotion, it means that the larger part of you is summoning on your behalf something that your protest is not letting in. And it doesn't matter if it's a protest that's verbal and out loud, or if it's just a protest you're feeling. When you feel taken advantage of, or when you feel unappreciated when you feel sorry for yourself even if you have recent and valid evidence to feel that way you still perpetuate a vibrational frequency that messes up that gets in the way of that hinders the well-being that is being summoned on your behalf and that's what we mean by you not being a cooperative component to your own desires to your own well-being to the summoning that's been summoned being summoned being continually summoned on your behalf do you know that when you want something that desire is a calling a constant calling and if you wanted to feel good you'd line up with it rather than stand in protest of it and do you know what causes you to stand in protest of it what causes you to stand in protest of it is your awareness of what is what's already manifested because you're always going to be in a state of asking for more and if you've asked for more then there's always something on the way and if there's something on the way then that means in terms of your physical manifestation it hasn't arrived yet and if you're standing in awareness of what hasn't arrived yet then you're in the way of its arrival you're slowing it down and that's why you feel impatient that's why you feel protest that's why you feel that something's gone wrong in fact the very negative emotion that you feel is the strongest evidence that you have that something is coming to you that you've asked for and at the same time you're not letting it come why why aren't you letting it come and the answer is because you've been not letting it come for so long and why is that because you are so enamored with the manifestations that surround you because you mistakenly think that that's who you are and that is life or that that's all there is to life 
when what is manifested is old news because what's active and what's becoming and what's now and what is your current point of attraction is happening over here in your vibrational reality your vortex is where it is your vortex is calling everything to that point and you want to do everything in your power to be one of the cooperative components that gets to that point too you don't want to be the vibrational holdout you don't want to be the one who's so sure of how much money you've got in the bank that you don't let any more in you're so sure of this is who you are and this is what your plight is and this is how it is for you this is your life experience you're so enamored with your life experience and we don't mean enamored because you love every bit of it and we get it because you like to see and hear and smell and taste and touch you like these physical manifestations and well you should you're out here on the leading edge of creation where all of that is visual and tangible and touchable and feelable and smellable and seeable and hearable we get that we like it too but you can't be so interested in what you can do with your physical senses that you forget the most important sense of all so when you understand that there is a vibrational reality that is really who you are and that that vibrational reality that is really who you are is working on your behalf at all times and then you relax and try to move in the direction of that you're going to hear a lot today about how to line up with who you really are you're going to come to the place of really knowing who you are of really feeling who you are and then you're going to you're already doing it but even more you're going to have the delicious experience of witnessing your thoughts turning to things your thoughts turning to the things that you've been describing and we like that when your thoughts turn to things we really like it oh nothing is more exhilarating than to be on the brink of those manifestations and then to be in such a conscious state of awareness that you recognize it in all of its nuances as it unfolds into your experience oh there's nothing more delicious than being out on the leading edge of thought that's why you are out on the leading edge of thought but you want to tend to the vibrations that aren't quite on the leading edge because if you don't tend to the vibrations that aren't quite on the leading edge then you never get to experience the deliberate leading edge creation everybody's creating and everybody's creating in a leading edge way it's just that a lot of people are creating a lot of things that they don't wish to create and we call that creating by default we call that creating by default so today here we want you to know this is important just take a minute and take this in your inner being knows where you stand in your physical body in relationship to everything that you want to be your inner being knows that where you want to be and where you are and knows the path of least resistance for you to get there better words the path of least resistance the path where your resistance is the path of least resistance the path where the least resistance of yours is the path that you are most likely to allow yourself to find what you want in spite of yourself and in time you won't be in the way so things can still work out for you even though you are in the way but oh when you get out of your own way by no longer being so aware of what is and being more ready to hear the operative words get out ahead of it and what's it get out ahead of what has manifested so that you're not holding what's coming to the standards of what's already manifested Does that makes sense to you if you're so aware of what is and what is it's produced a whole lot of more that you want but you're so aware of what is then even though source and the law of attraction and all that is is in the process of bringing about what you've asked for you don't let it happen at least you don't let yourself be aware of it because you're holding yourself in a frequency where you can't see it so what you do as a deliberate creator is that you find a way to identify isolate calibrate your vibrational frequencies to what you want so that it doesn't matter what is what you want is dominant and what is will give way to what you want that's how it works